Hi everyone, it's Krista here from Edible Santa Barbara, and today I want to talk to you about shopping local. Shopping local for food, that is. And, you know, kind of what sort of strategies, where you can go, you know, what I do. I'll just simply share with you what I'm going to do. So, let's get started. First off, many of you know that I love to go to the farmer's market. You know, it's just such a great experience. There's so much great food there. And if you can get to a farmer's market wherever you are, whether you're in Santa Barbara or anywhere you are, I highly recommend uh, checking out a farmer's market. Now, what if you can't get to a farmer's market? What if you do most of your shopping at grocery stores? Well, there are still a lot of options. I can find all kinds of great things at grocery stores that are locally produced. You really just have to find a store that labels things or you know has certain products that you know are local so that's always an option and grocery stores have great hours you know they're open every day they're open late so that's really convenient another thing I like to do is seek out a farm stand if you can get to a farm stand you're gonna get wonderful farm fresh produce and you know exactly where it's coming from so definitely look for farm stands we have a guide to the Santa Barbara County farms and farm stands that are open to the public uh, in our summer issue of Edible Santa Barbara, and I'll leave a link for that below. Now, aside from farm stands and grocery stores and farmers markets, there is another option, and that is a local produce delivery service. We are really fortunate in Santa Barbara that we have some great options, one of which is Plow to Porch. And I I met Pam Plessens, who started Plow to Porch years ago, before I even started the magazine. And she has come up with just a great way of providing local farm produce and other locally produced foods to people from, you know, Carpinteria to Goleta. So this is a Santa Barbara service, but there are other services, depending on where you live, that are very similar. So I will encourage you to click on the description below to get Pam's information for Plow to Porch. And then if you are not in Santa Barbara, you can seek out, just do a Google search for a local produce delivery service in your area. So the great thing about a local produce delivery service is that it is a box of produce that is delivered straight to your door. And Pam and her team do all the work of finding these great local farms and you know artisan food products. And then you can go online, you sign up for a box of produce, or you add on things like eggs or meat or seafood. She has a, quite a few add-ons. And then that box gets packed up once a week and dropped off right on your porch. So it's a great way to just come home and pick up your box and you have food for the week. She even includes recipes and I'm working with her on a series of recipes for the local challenge, which I will also provide to you. Uh, I think everyone who's getting the email newsletter for the Eat Local Challenge will get those recipes. So this is a great way to go. I really love the idea of, you know, all this great local food and produce coming straight to my door so that I can just open a box. It's like getting a present in, you know, right at your doorstep. And then you just start coming up with things you can do. You know, even if you um, aren't sure what to do with something, you can always Google it, look for recipes online on our website, or Pam will include recipes if you're doing Plata Porch. And you might try something new. You might be exposed to a, a fruit or a vegetable that you hadn't thought of buying before. And that's the beauty of doing something like this. So shop local, whether it's at a grocery store or a farm stand, the farmer's market, or a local produce delivery service. There are options for shopping local. Make it easy for yourself. Get some local food into your kitchen so you can start cooking with great local ingredients and so that you can have a wonderful experience for this Eat Local Challenge and beyond. Even if you're not doing the challenge, it's great to have options for shopping local. And please be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much, everyone.